All right, guys, I picked up the this ring doorbell from Amazon. Uh, it's the $60 version. I got it. It's on sale for 25 bucks right now. Uh, I, I couldn't not do it. This house has a, a wire doorbell already in it. I don't know if that works. Um, it, it's broken, so we're going to test that. Ideally, we're going to see if we can get this mounted, get it connected to the Wi-Fi, and test it. And then we'll be done. So, uh Sounds simple, we'll see how easy it is. All right, so pause it here if you want. Uh, this is the power requirements on this thing. It needs 10 to 24 volts um, AC. So I think theoretically there's a, a ringer in the hallway. I think the power comes from that or there's a jumper that needs to go uh, across that. And I'm gonna go measure the voltage and see what happens after that. All right, so here is the existing doorbell. Not a whole lot going on here. Oh, there's one volt. Oh, okay, we got 20 volts AC on this thing. I don't know if you can see that. It's roughly 20 volts AC. I'll probably restrip. I'll probably restrip these wires before we put the ring in, but that looks good. So we're gonna get that voltage turned off. All right, here's the breaker. None of these say uh, doorbell, so. I'm gonna have to figure it out a different way. All right. Here's the doorbell in the hallway. Uh, this comes right off. There's our other ends of our two wires. Um, I'm, since there's no breaker, I'm probably just gonna disconnect these here. Uh, this is not what you should do, but I am qualified to work on electrical like this, so. Uh, it's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to show it this part. All right, here's the jumper. Uh, this is the jumper from the ring. So this is the front terminal, uh, and this is the trans terminal. Your breaker or your uh, doorbell will probably have the same as this. Uh, it is it is labeled in there. You probably can't see it. You can see it's the doorbell. Listen to that. Although the ring won't be using that awesome feature. All right, so uh, the next step, I got to drill quarter inch holes in the uh, in the bricks. Really, all I did was trace the ring onto this, and honestly, that should be good. Um, I have a quarter inch bit. This is, actually is a hammer drill, but this is not a masonry bit. Um, if I burn up, I don't care. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we got two quarter inch holes now. Uh, honestly, I probably did burn up the bit. I don't mind spending the $2 for a new one. So um, I'm gonna keep moving. Hello, Patrick. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Did you bring me a package? Okay, thanks, come on back in. Okay. All right guys, uh, thank you for watching, first of all. Uh, a lot of film recording that I said I was gonna put in this, I ended up not doing because there's, uh, it's nearly 100% personal information that I don't wanna share with uh, the public, but it is very straightforward. Um, anybody can do that part. The two main things you need is there's a, there's a five digit code inside the ring that uh, as soon as you take the cover off to install it, you will see. I will write. I will recommend writing that down. Um, and there's a QR code that comes with it that you definitely don't want to lose, or else your ring is pretty much trash. Also, um, but other than that, the the install itself was mostly straightforward. It took me about an hour probably uh, to get all the tools together and everything, start to finish. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know Patrick and I enjoyed uh, putting it in, and we'll see you on the next one.